My name is Eric Dixon and I'm the owner and operator of Indoor Shoes Music for the last five years and I'm the owner of Warehouse Concert Hall. I've probably been in, into music for my whole life. Uh, I moved to St. Catharines about 10 years ago, and one of the reasons that I moved here was the local music scene, so to be working in it wasn't a plan, but uh, after I graduated from university at Brock, I started working with a partner on promoting concerts. I came into Indoor Shoes sort of a, about six months after it started. It was started by uh, Timmer Insiaglu and Shane Turner, really as just like an idea to help their friends who are in bands play more shows. When we first started, we weren't booking a ton of uh, larger out-of-town touring artists, but as we progressed, we started getting into more of that type of booking, which gave us you know, the opportunity not only to bring bands who are larger to St. Catharines, but also local artists the opportunity to play with some of those bands. I've always said that the process of learning how to do this job was, was very hands-on and there's no book for it. Um, you learn a certain amount from the other people that are doing it, you go to other concerts, you sort of see how things run, but more than anything it's just trial and error. Ultimately, like being a promotions company, is you're an event planner. Concerts in the city that we run are very uh, mechanical, like everybody that works those shows knows exactly what they're doing and how that fits into the, into the grand scheme, so we almost sort of step back a little bit, like on an, any given night for a concert, I'm here more or less just overseeing, not necessarily doing a whole lot. Um, because the people that work for indoor shoes, whether it's the door person, security, the sound and lights, techs, and the bands themselves, those people all really know kind of how it works as a system and it's fairly systematic at this point. What drives me to succeed in doing this is the experience that other people are having. I love being a part of concerts and, and seeing bands as often as I do. A huge motivation for why, why I do this is getting to see the experience other people are having. The Niagara region has, at any given time, at least 100 to 150 active local musicians and bands. So that obviously makes it easy to be doing events as frequently as we are. There's a huge arts community away from music, but combining those things, there's a really active arts community that you know supports local music, supports touring music, which is you know a big reason why this is able to happen. I sold my soul for wealth. You're always taking a gamble on whether people will come to see any given touring band, and, and that comes with a cost. If there's a downside to doing this, it's the occasional instance of, of actually losing money on an event. But in the grand scheme of things, that's a pretty uh, minor occurrence, I think. One really great example of you know times when we opted not to book a certain band because we were concerned that there weren't a lot of people who knew who they were, despite it maybe costing not that much money to do so. And the best example I have of that is having the opportunity to book a small band called the Lumineers about six months before they were playing on the stage at the Grammys. And we didn't take that opportunity then because we didn't think anyone would come. So there's probably an equal number of examples where we said, um, let's take a chance on this and maybe people will come. And that band got huge later on, as there are examples where we said, yeah, we don't think it's gonna work. And then six months later, that band was also huge. Warehouse was never really a fully intentional project over the long term. It was something that came about right around the time that Detour changed ownership and we didn't think would be a venue anymore. So the motivation to find a new space to, to put on shows became more of a priority. You know, over the years between Timmer and I uh, doing shows here, we always talked casually about the idea of creating a, creating a venue space that was dedicated and that could have all the elements that both an audience member coming to a show was looking for, but at the same time, all of the things that a touring band was looking for. So that's where the motivation came from and that's why we ended up starting this project about a year ago and, and end up now with a full-fledged venue. Hopefully this will be one of years for shows around us. So give it up for Eric on those shoes. 
People ask me a lot about what our biggest concerts have been or what our biggest biggest concert was, and that still to date is doing a, a concert with the Sheepdogs in the back parking lot of Mansion House back in 2011. Given the circumstances at the time, which was that we, both Timber and I had a fairly minimal amount of experience doing what we were doing, to go launch into a 700 person concert with all the moving parts that it had. It's a highlight because it was terrifying, um, but also you know, successful despite us not really knowing exactly what we were doing. I've had the opportunity to book some of my favorite musicians and watch them play in front of a crowd of 30 or 40 people. So even those uh, less successful concerts on a financial level have been some of the most rewarding experiences personally. In the long run, I think success for me is is just being a part of this long-standing project that is like the music scene in this area. It's about this being a home for a lot of the stuff that's already been been going on, but didn't necessarily have a great place for it to happen. So those are those are a few ways I think that the, how I would define being successful. You know, my goal here and what I see happening in the future is that we create this venue that can host all different types of music and different types of events, and that can live longer than, you know, even maybe I'm a part of it. If I'm doing this in five or 10 years, that's great. But if, even if I'm not, I still hope that this, you know, this space exists for, um, for bands and artists to use. My name's Eric Dixon, and this is my handmade ID.